Hi everybody, it's Guru Bob, and welcome to day 26 of the 30 day challenge. We're on the home stretch, and by now you should have decided whether your micro niche is a go or a no go. Yesterday we talked about some of the things you need to do if it's a no go, and today and over the next couple of days, we're going to be covering some things you need to consider if you decide to go forward in your micro niche. Specifically on day 26, we're going to be discussing how you can find additional keywords uh, that, ha that have traffic potential within your niche for which you can publish uh, unique content onto your, onto your blog. Today, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the context of the next couple of days and also showing you how to find some additional keywords using Google Analytics. And in the next video, the, Mo the Noble Samurai guys are going to show you how to use Market Samurai to find those additional keywords. But before I go into Google Analytics, I just want to give you a bit of the context about the things you need to be thinking about uh, when, once you've decided to go forward. Now that you've decided to go forward in your micro niche, there's a few things I want you to be considering, particularly as, you, as we go through the content we're going to be giving you over the next couple of days. Essentially, now that you've decided to go forward, there's, there's really only two or three things you really need to keep in the back of your mind. The first is that we want to try and expose our blog to the widest range of keywords within your micro niche that have traffic. So we're going to want to find additional keywords uh, over and above the theme and category keywords that you've already found that have traffic potential within your micro niche. And day 26 is largely focused towards that activity. As I said, in my, my, this video here, we'll, I'll be talking about finding those keywords using Google Analytics. And the next video, we'll, we'll show you how to use Market Samurai to find those keywords. Of course, once we are on page optimized for the widest range of keywords, we want to rank as high as we possibly can in the SERPs for those keywords. And hopefully by now you should be ranking uh, reasonably well, hopefully for the theme and category keywords that you've already identified and hopefully published content for. Over the longer term, the way to increase your ranking is to establish the largest and the highest quality link network, backlink network, of that points to your blog. So the, the goal of ranking higher in the SERPs will be facilitated by, by creating and engineering a link network that points to your blog over the longer term. Of course, if we're getting traffic to the blog, we're also going to want to uh, convert that traffic to realize the commercial outcome that we're promoting on the blog. So we also want to be continuously utilizing strategies and techniques to hopefully enhance that conversion. Now, as far as the ranking is concerned, we're going to be talking about that in, in, in quite some detail on days 26 and, days, and day 27. Sorry, day 27 and day 28. We don't have an awful lot of time to talk about some of the um, uh, conversion strategies, but we'll be we're covering that in, in a little bit on one of the days just before the end of the challenge. All right, that's the basic context I want you to sort of uh, be thinking about now that you've decided to go forward. And now I'm going to move uh, uh, into the browser so we can take a look at Google Analytics and I'll show you how to find um, some additional keywords that you might publish some content on. Okay, I've logged into Google Analytics for the Vintage Electric Guitar blog, which I've used as an example in earlier videos. And I'm just going to click on View Report, uh, click on the Traffic Sources link in the left-hand sidebar, and then go to the Keywords link. In this example, I'm just going to expand the list of keywords here to incorporate 50 keywords. Now, what Google Analytics shows us after a period of time is the keywords that people are typing into the search engines that ultimately uh, cause them to find their way to the, uh, to the site that's being monitored by Google Analytics. So you can see for the Vintage Electric Guitar blog, the bulk of the clicks are coming from keywords that are directly related to the main theme keyword of the blog, which is Vintage Electric Guitar. However, over a period of time, and particularly as you begin to receive traffic across a wider range of keywords for the blog, Google will start to send you traffic for keywords that you're not 
specifically optimized for. And it does this because Google is constantly assessing the relevance of your blog for various keywords, and you will appear in the search engines for those keywords, even though you might not be specifically optimized for them. And you begin to get a sense of that by looking at the sorts of keywords that Google is sending you traffic for. Now, once you can find the fact that Google is sending you traffic for certain keywords, like for instance, this keyword here, Fender Duo Sonic, we've received 11 clicks over the last month, I can then uh, create and publish content specifically optimized for that keyword. And by doing so, and particularly if I get some backlinks to, my, to, to, to this particular post uh, also optimized for that keyword, then I will probably begin to rank higher in the search engines for that keyword. And of course, when you rank higher for a keyword, Google will send you more traffic. So this is a bit of an iterative exercise. Over a period of time, and particularly as you begin to rank for a wider range of keywords, Google will start sending you traffic for keywords that you didn't, don't expect. And by uh, publishing unique content on your blog for those keywords, you will rank higher for them in the SERPs and ultimately receive more traffic. It can be a very nice way of continuously getting keyword ideas for you to publish on your blog. Now, if you haven't received very much traffic yet from the search engines, don't worry if, the, if your keyword list is fairly limited. As you begin to rank better in the search engines and publish more content on your blog, this keyword list that Google Analytics shows will begin to expand. All right, it's fairly, this, this video is fairly straightforward. I'm just wanting to sort of show you how the keyword uh, area of Google Analytics works. And in the next video, um, the Noble Samurai boys will show you how to use Market Samurai to find a wider range of keywords for which you have traffic potential with your niche and for which might, might be candidate uh, themes for new, new posts on your blog. Now this is very likely going to be my last video for this year's 30 day challenge. I'd like to thank you all very much for participating in the challenge and I wish you, wish you very well for the completion of the challenge and more importantly, for your internet marketing activities going forward.